Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Blender Default Scene. When you first open Blender, a number of default windows, panels, and controls are displayed. At first, this can seem a bit confusing and somewhat intimidating, but as you become more familiar with Blender's interface, you'll see that the layout is actually very well organized and provides an efficient interface for modeling and animation. The default layout contains five Blender windows called Editors. Each of these Editor windows contains a header or a menu line. The Editor window's header is sometimes located at the top of the window and sometimes located at the bottom of the window. The first default Editor window is called the Information Editor and is located at the very top of the display. This Information Editor window consists of a, only a header menu line containing some very frequently used commands in menu form, as well as containing some information on the scene, the object or sub-object elements, memory, and selection. The second editor window is called the Outliner Editor. This consists of a small header menu and an outline of the various elements present in your Blender scene displayed in a hierarchical display. The third editor window is called the Properties Editor. The Properties Editor is a very important cluster of context buttons, panels, and controls for controlling your Blender scene, rendering, texturing, lighting, and scene objects. I'm going to move my cursor to the left edge of this Properties Editor until I see a double arrow, and then left-click and drag this window to the left to get a better look at it. All Blender Editor windows can be extended in this manner, either horizontally or vertically. The Properties Editor is quite typical of many of the Blender Editor windows. It consists first of context buttons, which are similar to tabs that change the panels and controls below depending on the context. Below the context buttons are panels that open and close by clicking on the open close arrows. Inside of the panels are controls, which manipulate the scene or the object in some manner based on the context. These controls are typically either a function, or an option, or a value. I'll resize this editor window back to its original size. The fourth editor window is the Timeline Editor, and it's located at the very bottom of the display. The Timeline Editor window consists of a header menu, located at the bottom of the window, that contains various animation playback controls and a running timeline that displays the position of the playback head and any keyframes that you may have added to your animation. The fifth Editor window, which comprises most of the default display, is the 3D Viewport Editor window. This 3D viewport is the area where you will concentrate much of your modeling attention. It consists of a header menu located at the bottom of the window that contains various viewing and selecting controls. On the far left of the 3D editor window are a number of tool panels containing button controls for manipulating selected objects or adding keyframes. On the right is a large 3D viewing space for viewing, selecting, and transforming your 3D objects. This 3D viewing space, which constitutes the visible Blender scene, contains a default cube object, a camera object, and a lamp object. Notice that when I select any of the objects by right-clicking on them, the various editor window panels automatically change based on the context of the selected object. Now, it's possible to change any of the existing default Blender Editor windows to other Editor windows by clicking on the Editor Type button located on the left end of every Editor Header menu. For instance, here I will change the 3D Editor window to the File Browser Editor window. Now I will change it to the User Preferences Editor window. Now I will, I will change it back to the 3D viewport. The default Blender interface is quite well conceived. It is, however, possible to change this default arrangement 
Now, if you're just beginning to learn Blender, I suggest that you stick with this, this default setup, or at the most, make minor changes to the default setup until you become more familiar with the location of all of the various editor panels, context buttons, and controls that are available in Blender.